We are Ben and Charity with Grateful Glamper, and today we are going to answer the 10 questions in the RV Question Challenge. So you may have heard about the 10 Question RV Challenge. So today we are going to give you our answers. So we were challenged by the Hungry Cuban and Roaming with Rover. So let's start with question one. What would you change about your current RV? One thing that I would definitely change is instead of having two couches, which is where our kids sleep, and it does work great, I would probably rather have bunks. We think it would be very prudent. Can we turn our beds into bunk beds? One thing I would want to change is maybe put a toy hauler in the back so we can roll it down, back into a place, and have a deck to enjoy our cup of coffee with a great view, as well as have an office space dedicated for work. Mel, we're gonna need to go ahead and move you downstairs into storage B. No. A dedicated office space would definitely be something that would be nice. For now, we just use the dinette, so it works. So question number two, what is something you did not expect with your first RV? I think something that we definitely did not expect when we bought our first RV is just really how difficult it would be to drive. Spectacular! We purchased a gas engine motorhome and even though we added some extra suspension components, it was still really fatiguing to drive. Yeah, so we had a older 2000 uh, gas on a chassis that wasn't very well built. So it was really like babysitting the steering wheel. So it was very, very fatiguing to drive. And we went all the way to the East Coast and back to Colorado in this thing. So uh, when it came down to getting our, our new diesel pusher, it really felt like a much better ride compared to the old gas engine RV that we had. For sure. So question three. What was your deciding factor when you bought your first RV? So this is something that's kind of interesting because we didn't expect to be able to purchase our first RV when we did, but when we started doing some price shopping at used RVs, we found out that they were way more affordable than what we thought that they were going to be. Right there, that, uh, that's an RV, yeah. We were able to do it much sooner just because it was much more affordable than we thought. Yeah, we were gonna wait for about a year to save up and. And once we were looking, we've actually found some in the price range that we had budgeted for. And so we decided to really just go ahead and get it and get started and just work out any kinks and find out really what we wanted in an RV. Number four, what is your favorite meal to cook at camp? I would definitely have to say that when we were down in the Gulf Coast area and we got that Gulf shrimp and we put that on the Blackstone with some veggies, that was like the best yeah and i would have to say uh burgers you really you can't go wrong with that i just love having a nice burger at the end of the day and it's really easy take 18 ounces of sizzling ground beef Ooh. and soak it in rich creamery butter then we top it off with bacon ham and a fried egg number five what is your must see rv destination so I think one of our must-sees this year is that we'll be traveling to Banff in Canada. Hola, senor. We are gringos who wish to spend mucho dinero in your country. Splendid. Welcome to Canada. No! Oh! But one of the places that was probably one of our most favorites was when we were in Florida and we stayed right on the beach at the Flagler by the Sea campground. And I would go back there in a heartbeat. I am actually looking forward to Arches and Zion National Park. We will be traveling there this summer and I have been reading up on it and I am so excited to go there. It'll be a good trip. Number six. What is your favorite thing about RVing? And I think for me, one of my favorite things is just the constant change of scenery is that you're always going to a new place and you're seeing new things. One of the things that I think is really cool about RVing versus even flying to a destination is you get the chance to see that gradual change in landscape. When we went from Colorado to New Mexico, you just see that gradual change where you leave the mountains and it gets to be more of a desert arid climate versus when you know you get on a plane and you leave one place and you land another place and it just looks totally different and you don't see that kind of gradual change happen as you go from one destination to the next. And I would say really the family time. Right. Yeah, yeah. Make some noise. Noise. And 
the feeling of a sense of adventure because you're always looking forward to going to the next spot and mapping out what you're going to do and and the kids are talking about it and it's just a lot of fun to know just looking forward to the next destination that you're going to go to. So number seven, what is your least favorite thing about RVing? And I think I would have to say is trying to stop for fuel and trying to figure out where is going to be an RV friendly fuel station. Truck stops are always a good idea, but sometimes you're in an area where maybe you're not like on the interstate where there's a truck stop. So just trying to figure out where you're going to fuel up. And then, of course, you know, the bill every time that you fuel up to. That's not my favorite part. And I would say semi trucks passing you at a high rate of speed because it creates a vacuum. So it pulls you over and then pushes you over to the other side of the road. So it's really not as bad in our current diesel pusher RV, but in our gas, I could really feel it. And uh, it caught me off guard a couple of times. So number eight, what is your must have for your next RV? And we're going to be keeping this one for quite a while, but if we ever replace this one, I would say my must have is two bathrooms because somebody tends to monopolize the bathroom time. You talking to me? Somebody in our family tends to take a long time in the bathroom. So it's a good thing that we have bath houses at the campgrounds that we can walk down to when somebody decides to monopolize the bathroom time. It's not me. It's not me. And neither is it Dakota. And neither is it Mom. I would have to say a helicopter landing pad and maybe a hot tub, you know, depending on the budget. But that would really come in handy. Um, For your helicopter? <laughs> well, maybe future helicopter. <sighs> Moving on. So. Number nine, what is your favorite adult beverage while camping? This was an easy one for us to answer. So I can chill out with just a good cold glass of Moscato wine. And I'm a big fan of uh, micro beer. Mate, no micro beer. Micro beer. Micro beer. The little, the little beers. The little beers. <laughs> I'm a fan of microbrewery beer. So any place that we go to that has a microbrewery, uh, I am definitely gonna go check it out and uh, maybe bring home a growler of their beer. So last question, question number 10, what is your favorite indoor accessory? And this was really interesting because this rig is the first time that we had a washer dryer unit on board with us. And when we first set out on our trip, I did not think that we would really use it, but boy was I wrong. And now that we've had that and we used it almost every day and we really didn't use the campground laundry mats, but maybe just a few times, I would say that that is absolutely now a must have for our family to be able to have our own washer and dryer right on board our rig. I'm going to go with something that we use every morning and that's a coffee maker. Coffee's a must. So thanks so much for watching our 10 question challenge. We are going to challenge enjoythejourney.life. We would love to hear your answers to these 10 questions and get to know you guys a little bit better. And so we look forward to seeing your answers in your next video. And that's gonna be a... Hmm. That didn't work. Okay. Yeah. All right, pack it up.